All right, so let's just uh, go back over, reiterate some of the special cases for the instantaneous center of zero velocity. What if you, you find that velocity of B is going this way, velocity of A is going that way, uh, and that's the one that we just did. So I would draw my radial lines that are perpendicular to velocities, um, and, and there's the instantaneous center. So that what does that mean? Even though I thought velocity could be going to the right, velocity of B is equal to zero. Um, R, B, you know, B is zero away, but um, omega uh, it does not have to equal zero. So don't assume too many things are zero. <clears throat> you could still have omega of that bar. So let's say there's a, some bar A, B, those two are on. So it's okay if the instantaneous center falls on a point, your velocity at that point is zero. We did one like this, where the top was going to the right, the bottom was going to the left. <clears throat> and when we drew our radial lines, they just overlapped completely. If they overlap completely, then the instantaneous center is somewhere on that overlap. All right. Um, and if the top is going to the right, the bottom is going to the left, then you know it's got to be in the middle. Uh, or in between the two. So just go ahead and put it somewhere and say, okay, my RA is right there, my RB is right there. And then your third equation, your extra equation, think about what, what do those RA, do they add up to something? In this case, they would add up to this distance D. Sometimes they're off by something. And, and it really is... A similar triangle so you could kind of a different method which is actually the same equations you would get um, you can kind of look at this as similar triangles um, to find that RA if you know that height VB if you know this height VB find that base um, RB and then how about this we haven't really done this one what if we see that VA is going down that way VB is going down that way and if, if you draw those dotted lines and they never intersect. If they never intersect, then uh, one way of thinking about it is, is like, well, well, my RA is up towards infinity. Um, and so what it really is, <clears throat> this, your angular velocity is zero. This is translation. This is translation. And if your angular velocity is zero, think about, V A V B plus V A slash B. This is um, omega cross R. If your omega is zero, then your relative term is zero. Then V A is equal to V B. You get that? In translation, when there's no rotation and no angular velocity, V A is equal to V B. And that's what's happening if you see that both of your um, vectors are going in the same direction. So that those dotted radial lines never intersect that's translation the omega <clears throat> the omega is zero